beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I am an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey so that you can co-create the life of your dreams. And on an awakening journey, it is so fun to see how the universe moves us to certain people, places, and things. And it's all for our growth. It's for our experience. It's so that we can become the person that we came here to be. Because in childhood, we get calloused over with all of these belief systems and traumas. And then when we awaken, it's a coming home to our true essence, who we really are underneath all of those layers. And in this video, we're going to talk about three signs that you know the universe wants you with someone. Because along your journey, you're going to meet and you're going to date and you're going to connect with so many different wonderful souls and they all serve a purpose. But we have to know, you know, when to engage and when not, you know, am I meant to be with this person? Am I not? So we're going to talk about that in this video. So get yourselves ready, get comfy, get a yummy drink, or if you're listening in your car, turn it up. <laughs> so let's get started. The first sign that you know that you're meant to be with somebody when you can't deny how the universe is making you bump into this person or connect with them via social media in some way, but you just keep being guided to see them or be with them or talk to them. And it is completely out of your control. Okay. This happened to me one time. One time I was seeing somebody and he lives far away and I randomly ran into him in a store on a Friday night. And I just was like, what are the odds of me seeing him here? He doesn't even live close to here. And I know that the universe does that because it's wanting our energy fields to be close to each other, to let us know that, hey, this is safe, right? It's a feeling of safety, like, wow, we were guided to see each other at this moment, at this time. That's confirmation from God that it's safe. And again, it could be for a lesson. It could be for a lifetime. We don't know. It could be to connect with somebody about work. But if the universe is guiding you to somebody over and over and over again, that is a sign you're meant to be with them to do something, whether it's date them, to connect with them, to work with them. So embrace these bump-ins, as I like to call them, like bumblebees, you just keep bumping into each other <laughs> and take note of it, write it on your little desk calendar, be like, wow, I saw this person again. I wonder what the universe wants us to do together. And it's really magical when it happens. And I know some of you probably have already experienced this in your life. And speaking from a healer's perspective or a psychic medium, if you connect with me on that level, you're going to be guided to certain people to help them. Okay. There's been many times where I'll run into somebody from my past and then I'll see them again a week later. And it's because they're going through a divorce and they need a female support system to guide them. And we end up having a conversation. They book a couple sessions with me. And that's why the universe did that. I was meant to be with them. So sometimes if you're a coach, a healer, a psychic medium, if you're somebody who's helping people expand and evolve, this is going to happen to you frequently. And you have to learn discernment between who am I here to work with and who am I here to play with and connect with and date, okay? There's a fine line and there's the difference. So you have to use your discernment, okay? And there's been a couple of times in my past where I would connect with certain men and I thought it was supposed to be intimate and it wasn't. I was just supposed to guide them to be a better man. And it was just supposed to be a friendship, but I took it the wrong way, right? So I'm also going to share another video. I'll link it here about three ways you know that you're not meant to be with somebody and that you need to steer away from them, okay? But the way that I knew that it was just a working relationship is because it wasn't reciprocated. I was reading their energy. I was reading their signs and I was watching how they interacted with me. And I, I always like to look for what's missing, I encourage all of you to do that too. You always want to look for what's missing in a partnership, in an intimate partnership, or if you're dating somebody and you're just starting out, you know, if they're not saying certain things that you would say, or that you would want your partner to say, you have to be eyes all over that and say, okay, I'm not going to overlook this red flag. This isn't what I want. You know, I want somebody who's going to be saying certain things or doing certain things. So you always have to look for what's missing. Okay, so moving on. The second sign that you know the universe wants you around somebody is that when you are in their presence, you become a better version of yourself. 
And yes, it's kind of like a, I feel like I can be myself with you. It's that energy, but then you take it to the next level. You begin to speak better. You begin to be more honorable and you're like, wow, this person activates me to be better. That's the universe saying, hey, they're safe. You're going to grow with this person. They're going to allow you to be all of you and more. And that's a big piece of this journey is we want to keep expanding ourselves. We don't want to be stagnant. Once we awaken, we want to keep breaking off more layers and becoming that best version of ourselves, right? So we can help other people. And we want to be with people who will challenge us to do that. But when you come into contact with somebody and you immediately feel like, wow, I can be myself with this person and then they take me to another level and they expand my mind, they expand my heart, they challenge me to see life differently, that is a guaranteed high five, yes, this person is good for you. And you have to honor that person's energy too because you know they might have that kind of energy where everyone feels that way around them. So you don't wanna latch on to these people. So when you're hearing about these signs, it can be a gravitational pull, right? You're like, wow, this person makes me feel like I can be myself. I want to be around them all the time. You can't do that because we have to honor people's energy. But this is just a, a beacon of what not to look for, right? If you're with somebody who you can't be yourself with, the universe is saying this is probably not a good energy to be around all the time. Okay, so it's not always zero to 100. We don't find these people and say, oh my gosh, they're my person. I need to be around them all the time. They need to be my best friend. You have to think about their life and how they spend their time and energy, and you can't always be pulling from them, okay? So we have to learn boundaries, but this is just a nice little guide to say, wow, this feels good. I can be me. They expand me. Then yes, they're safe. I am meant to be with them right now to either work with them, to grow, to heal, to date, whatever it is, but they're safe, okay? The third and final sign that the universe wants you to be with somebody is when you want to see them grow. You just have this odd sense that you're just like, I just really enjoy this person and I want to see them thrive and I want to be their biggest cheerleader. That's because your energetic signatures have some sort of match. There's some sort of underlying unconditional love there. You just want the best for them and you don't know why. You're like, why do I want the best for this person? And I don't even know them, <laughs> you know? And you can be such a loving being that you're like that with everybody. We can get to that enlightened state where there's no suffering and you're just like, oh, I just love everybody and everything. We're all one and we're connected. But there are certain people who it takes it to the next level. You're like, wow, I really want this person to be the best version of themselves. And I'm not gonna force them. I'm not gonna nudge them. I just innately think it. And I show up for them in a way that maybe they need. And that's a sign that the universe is saying, this is good. This is a good support system. And in that other video that I'm going to post that I shared about earlier about who to stay away from, it's going to be the opposite of that, right? It's going to be somebody who you kind of don't even have that thought about. You're like, I don't really, I'm not really thinking about their growth. It's because they're not a match to you. you guys aren't meant to do anything together. You're not meant to expand each other. Okay. So these three signs are crucial on your spiritual journey because the top five people that you spend the most time with, you are becoming them. You're a combination of all five, right? So you get to choose who you bring your energy to, okay? And if you don't feel good around somebody and you feel that tight, restricted energy and you can't be yourself, pull your energy back and allow the universe to bring you somebody else who will allow you to feel safe. And another little hidden tip I always like to teach my clients is if you find yourself crying around somebody, like you're having a conversation about maybe somebody that's passed away or a tough situation or a divorce or a job loss, and you don't normally cry around people, and all of a sudden you're in front of somebody who you just met and you're crying, that's because your soul is saying, this is a safe space. This is a safe container for you to allow this emotion to purge out of you. It's time to let this go. And we've, we've brought you to somebody that you need so that you can release this emotion. Okay. I know that happened to me early on in my grief days. I lost my daughter in 2012 and I would find myself crying in front of strangers or, or different people or old friends from the past. And I'd be like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in 20 years. Like, I'm sorry. I'm crying in front of you. And then I learned when I awakened, there's no apologies. 
the universe brought me to that person because they knew that that person held a safe energy for me to express myself. So if you unconsciously start crying in front of somebody, that's because your soul knows it's safe and it's an open vessel and it's an open place for you to drop off that emotion. Okay, that's another little hidden tip that that you're meant to be with that person for that time being. It's for your healing. Okay. And don't forget from the beginning of this video, learn that discernment between who you're supposed to work with and who you're supposed to be friends with and who you're supposed to date. There's a fine line and you don't want to cross any boundaries when you do find these people that you're meant to be with at the current time. You have to respect their energy, right? Just like you, you're somebody who people probably are drawn to, right? If you're on my channel, you probably hold a high vibration. Well, people are going to be drawn to you. And you have to set a boundary to say, hey, sorry, like, I know we have great energy and I know that we're working together and we're expanding each other, but I can't always text or I can't always be available when you need me. You have to like teach people how to work with you because your energy is special and pristine and you need to keep it that way. And if you're constantly giving, giving, giving because you're people pleasing, you are going to drain your energy. So learning discernment and learning boundaries is all part of this process on the spiritual journey because we are energetic beings. We can feel people's feelings. We can feel their thoughts. We can feel their energy through a text message. So you have to be aware of who you're sending messages to, who you're communicating to, and look out for these three signs, okay? Because that's letting you know it's safe to be with them, but then we monitor our interaction and we pull back our energy, we stay grounded and we don't latch on, right? Because some people that are new on the spiritual journey, they tend to latch onto somebody who expands them and makes them feel like they can be themselves because they don't have anybody else in their life that's like that. So be mindful that people might try to latch onto you because you are this person that holds such a high vibration and you have to set that boundary, okay? You do not have to overgive. You do not have to open up your energy to everybody, okay? You do not have to respond to text messages. You don't have to respond to emails. You do what feels good in your heart. I always say when somebody's texting you and um, they're just kind of jumping in your phone, asking a question, they're like showing up at your door knocking and demanding that you answer. You don't have to answer your door, okay? So respect yourself. We weren't taught these boundaries. So many people think we have to respond to a text immediately. You do not. You can wait an entire day to respond to somebody, okay? If they show up at your door and you're napping or you're taking a shower and you don't answer, you're just not going to answer the door. That means you're busy. You're allowed to be busy. You're allowed to not do anything but be busy. You're allowed to take breaks, okay? So when the universe wants you with somebody, you've realized the signs and you're like, okay, but then I like to teach people how to manage that energy, because that's a big part of this journey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help on your journey, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do coaching. I do readings. I do an eight-week mentorship. And I guide people to refine their energy, refine their thoughts, refine their boundaries. I help them set energetic boundaries because we were not taught how to value ourselves. We were not taught that it's okay to let people wait. Okay. We were also were not taught that we're allowed to take up space in the world. You are allowed to jump into somebody's phone politely asking a question, saying, hey, I hope you're having a great day. When you have time, I'd be so grateful if you could answer a question of mine. And then you drop the question in there. Then that person has it. They can answer it when they want. But you're being respectful of their time and energy and not just demanding and knocking on the door saying, answer me, <laughs> right? Because that can be an addictive energy when somebody does have the answers all the time for you. You feel like you can't survive without them. And we will always want to nurture these relationships when the universe wants us with people. We want to nurture it. We don't want to lose it, right? Because it's good for us. So make sure that you're not latching, you're not clinging, you're not knocking on somebody's door energetically and demanding their time and energy. That's a big piece of this journey. And that's what I do in my mentorship is I help people become better, right? And not become so reactive or impulsive. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, your every hope, your every wish, your every dream is meant to become your reality. All right, peace out.